I really hope that this thing works. This is the fun part. Boom, 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 boom. Really have to put less screws on these hatches. It's kind of a travesty. Ah. Hatch lying on the ground. Guess we didn't need it. Now it's the walk of terror. Okay, we are ready to jet launch in here. We're going to five. Any year recording? Four, yes. Three, two, one. Yeah. Two thousand. Like seven thousand feet. <laughs> Twenty-five hundred. Twenty-six hundred. Twenty-seven hundred. These are meters. Twenty-nine hundred. Meters. Those yes. Are oh, those oh, are lost. Let's go. Lost comms. Parachute. 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 Three thousand. That's the drogue. It's out. What's the smoke? Three thousand. That's the motor. Twenty-nine hundred. Twenty-nine hundred. Twenty-eight hundred. Yeah. What's that? We have something. Oh, It'll hit the ground. Oh my not god. That's half. Okay. Wait, that's, that's like better than that's, that's the rocket will be reflyable. Exactly. <laughs> We, we deployed the drogue chute, um, everything came down intact. Uh, the main is like a bit frayed, uh, the main didn't fully deploy. So we're gonna have to like rethink how we like pack the main. Uh, we were testing things for our liquid engine. So we successfully tested a, a separation of our, uh, Pneumatic our the pneumatics that go to our main valves. I mean, we had a little kind of sharp knife blade, you kind of see the setup right, right yes. over here. So demonstrated that we can detach these lines on liftoff. Um, just with a razor blade. Also, just from like a systems perspective, like the AV bay was like so much better than last time. Right, and we have a, we still have like a custom airframe antenna. Because last really time, the last time. time we had the, we had the, the altimeters like in the top here. So every time you wanted to access the altimeters, you'd have to like unscrew the whole top of the rocket and take it off the pad. And so now they're accessible through these hatches. In theory, with screw switches, but apparently I don't think we aligned the holes correctly. <laughs> So still a bit of work to do there. Um, and of course, the whole airframe's 3D printed out of nylon PA12. Um, the, there's heat set inserts for the fasteners, and then the fins are mark forged with continuous carbon fiber. Yeah, so success.